can't not. You can't not. That's just how that works, right? It is 5.45 in the morning. It is colder than a witch's tit outside. Did he just say what I thought he said? It is a cold mofo outside. We need to heat this hanger up to about 70 degrees, get this engine block kind of warmed up, allow those oils to kind of thin out, warm up, so that when we pull this guy out, that hard start that's going to happen in cold weather, it's not as hard. And that's the reason why I'm going to let the engine set in here in a 70 degree environment for about 30 to 45 minutes. I already know when I pull it out, it's probably gonna fog the, the windshield up. I don't have heater in the, I don't have heat inside the cabin, so we're, we're, we're gonna experiment. It was cold last year, it's gonna be super cold today. Um, normally you'd have a cowling or you'd have an engine block heater and you could, you know, with the cowling, you'd put a pipe in uh, with a heater and you'd be fine. I don't have any of that. Cowling's in Texas. I don't have an engine block heater and I don't have an electric blanket to throw over it. So I got a diesel heater of 10 gallons, gonna heat this sucker up to 70 degrees, pull her out, we're gonna go play around in the snow. Great field airport. Automated weather observation. 1153 Zulu. Wind 020 at 04. Visibility 10. Sky condition Q1500. Overcast 5,500. Temperature minus 1.7 Celsius. 2 point minus 2.1 Celsius. Altimeter 3027. Remarks. Density altitude minus 2,000. This video has been sponsored by Flying Eyes. Focus on what matters. Flexible and durable frames, some impact resistant lenses, millimeter thin sides, and a lifetime frame warranty and one year lenses. Go ahead and head over to flyingeyesoptics.com. Use code MOUSTACHE at checkout at 10% off all your Flying Eyes needs. Oof. Activity in the vicinity of the airport. Advise on this contact you have. Information uniform. All right, so we got weather. We got uh, 333 on the on the one way meeting. We got snow. Uh, it's slick, and uh, we need to be cautious. It's going to be uniform. The back is 23 degrees Celsius. So we're going to spin it up here. It's going to take a little bit to cut through the snow. Engine's nice and getting into those bottom of the green right now. See, we got some condensation going. It's gonna happen while we fly. We're gonna have to actually let a little cool air in, which is gonna suck, but it is what it is. We're in sub below temperatures right now. The goal is just to see how well this performs. We're gonna see what she does going up. Delta Charlie, runway 34, taxi via Charlie, and Bravo across runway 34 at Charlie. It's going to be uh, for 34, Charlie across 34, straight Delta Charlie. Alright, our goal is to see what kind of performance we get on takeoff. See what she climbs as she cruises at. She's doing pretty well right now. It's a really good start. All the, nothing too wild. Had a camera issue, but we took care of that, so there's going to be nine minutes of footage for nothing. We're going to go no flaps on this one. Actually, we're going to do 10, 2, a short takeoff. Check 
tower, he's at the shuttle, he's uh, hold short, runway 34, Bravo 3, ready for takeoff. Charlie Roger. Runway 34, clear for takeoff, safe direction, no departure. We're going to be heading north up to Bedville. Go, Charlie Roger. We're clear for takeoff on 34. Pull it out. Get out here. I got a good line. Woo! <laughs> she's ready to fly! <laughs> oh, oh. Woo! Yes! Damn! Woo! Just see that for a minute. What? That's crazy. Woo! 5,000 RPMs are gonna dial back to 49. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This plane, I love this plane to death, man. 16, 1700 foot of in there, the second to go on takeoff, we're climbing out right now at about a thousand foot of minute. That's crazy. I, I normally see 400 foot, 500 foot of minute, average with half tanks, double in that right now, which is crazy. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Got a little float from the wind. Oh, yeah. 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 Got a five knot wind from the uh, northwest right now. Climbing out. That's crazy. I love this thing. 800 foot a minute, almost at a level. <laughs> 47 knots. Kind of wild. Woo! <laughs> I know you can't see the joy on my face right now, but it is plentiful. We learned that a Zenith at 996 pounds with a Viking 130 will climb for the absolute ever-loving heaven. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 16 to 1700 foot a minute. Uh, as soon as I put power in and pulled back, oh my God, that was amazing to feel that thing uh, just take off towards the sky. Didn't do any crazy uh, short takeoffs like stall competition wise. Probably should have checked that out, but I was trying to be easy on the engine in a way. We're around 49 to 5,300 RPMs. I can push it to six uh, to do stall takeoffs, but I didn't today because we're in sub-zero temperature weather. 
But I'll tell you what, I had an absolute ball out there today. We had some problems with the cameras, so you guys are kind of seeing the combination of what was left. And, you know, it stopped about halfway through the trip. But got some phone footage. Uh, me landing out at Weddington Woods it was a lot of fun. Playing in the snow. That's what these big tires are about. It's what this whole thing is about for me. Wish my dad was around to see it. He's not. But, man, he would have had an absolute ball. I'm going to go find a, a good cigar, some iced tea. Kind of get back in the saddle here for the year. You're going to see some more videos. If you haven't liked, subbed, and followed, please do that on the Facebook, Instagram, and here. Love to have you around. If you got questions about a Viking 130, Zeta 750, or just national stall competition or stall drags, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll try to get to them as much as I could. We were going to do that with this video, but uh, 230 comments on the, the last one, it's a, it's a tough one. So we're going to make a whole video just on that. So I'm going to go find some uh, iced tea, nice cigar. This is Bruno. I hope you're following your passion and dreams of aviation. We'll catch you on the next one.